On Thursday, Starship's Flight 8 may have made the biggest impact, but we also had intuitive machines attempting to land on the moon for the second time with their Nova Sea lander christened Athena. This was at a far south landing site that was in unforgiving, complicated terrain with low sun angles. And unfortunately, soon after landing, it was clear that something was wrong. During the final moments before touchdown, the data displayed on the simulation was hard to interpret, and this was interpreted as to be due to uh, signal losses. However, about 15 minutes after touchdown, one of the people in the control room picks up this model and starts showing it to the controllers on its side. And this was the point we all became sure that intuitive machines had repeated their previous lunar landing success. So it wasn't much of a surprise when they published this image the next day showing the lander on its side with its solar panels facing away from the sun and its rocket engine pointing towards Earth. Based on the cloud patterns of the Earth, this was taken several hours after landing and you can see that they also deployed some of the experiments. And so it turns out that this simulation they were displaying was actually correct because that grey line was supposed to point to down on the moon and you see the green line points towards the Earth. Processing the image to remove the curvature makes it clear that it landed in a small crater and maybe it just fell over because the slope was too much. But an image released yesterday may tell a different story. This was from the Japanese Yaoke micro rover, which was supposed to be released after landing and drive around and take some pictures. It was mounted on the bottom of the spacecraft and it required gravity to help it release from its housing. So its camera was also pointing down into that shaded area of the crater. But if we take that low quality image and stretch the contrast, it's very obvious that we can see the foot of a landing leg. Moreover, it looks like the bottom of a foot of the landing leg. And the only way that camera could see that is if the landing leg broke on landing. And so once again, we think they landed simply too fast, broke the landing legs, and then it subsequently fell over. Unfortunately, in this case, it fell away from the sun, and so we won't be getting any power from those solar panels. The spacecraft will probably not wake up.